Hey y'all, good morning. Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education. Hey, i um, getting ready for class this morning and quick little video um, study tip for you again. Um, this one is related to the last practice question I put up about uh, the spinal cord injury. Um, the answer, and I'll post it later today, but I'm gonna tell you guys that watch this video, the answer is brown sequard. Um, brown sequard question is seen often on the CE and exam. Uh, it's a very unique injury uh, pattern, very unique presentation, which makes it something good for test item um, question writing. Um, we talk about it extensively in class. We spend uh, several minutes going over it with some pathophysiology and all that. But I'm going to keep it really simple for you, for those of you who get ready for the test and want a quick little tidbit to remember this and always get the question right. I want you to listen very carefully at this point. Brown Sequard is the only, I'll say it two more times, the only, the only spinal cord syndrome that breaks two rules, okay? Every other spinal cord syndrome follows one of two rules. Rule one, there's gonna be an injured side with symptoms and an uninjured side without symptoms. Now, that could either be one side of the body affected or one side not, or it could be a top half versus a lower half, but that's rule one only one side of the body will have symptoms. The other side of the body, whether it be the side or the top or the lower, only one half of the body will have symptoms, the other half will not. That's rule one of spinal cord injuries. The other rule that every other spinal cord syndrome fits is that if there are symptoms on both sides of the body, they're the same symptoms. I'm gonna say it again. If there are symptoms on both sides of the body, they are the same symptoms. So with those two rules in mind, Again, refreshing, rule one, one side affected, one side not, or if both sides are affected, it's the same symptoms. With those two rules in mind, brown sequard breaks both of those rules. Brown sequard has symptoms on both sides of the body, but yet they're different symptoms, okay? I'm not gonna go into the specific symptoms because there's no other presentation for this. There is no other way these can be given to you except in that manner. And so it really does you no good to memorize specific symptoms. Um, I tell people in class, if you're that type A person, you really wanna memorize stuff, you can. You can look it up in my other videos or you can look it up online, but there's no need to memorize symptoms, okay? First, it's very hard for you to memorize something that you have no frame of reference for. And brown sequard is a very rare, very unique presentation. Many people haven't seen it. So if you're trying to memorize or learn something that you've never experienced before, it becomes even harder to put it in your brain to lock it in, all right? For example, one of the symptoms of brown sequard is testing temperature. None of us have ever tested temperature in a resuscitation room or in a trauma room or at, a bed, at the bedside, okay? It's not something we do. So therefore, trying to memorize temperature as one of the symptoms, albeit one of the correct symptoms, you don't have a frame of reference for it. So how do you use this on the test? So on the test, on the exam, you'll read a question about some trauma, some injury, something about a spinal cord. You go see some symptoms they give you as part of the patient's scenario. It's easy. Stop on your blank piece of paper or on your dry erase board or whatever they give you to write on, because you get that, and I'll talk about that in another video. Just draw a stick man. And on that stick man, start labeling where the symptoms are. If they say the patient has X, Y, or Z on this side, and then X, Y, or A, B, C on this side, label them where they are. And when you're done, look at your picture. If you see both sides of the body are affected, in other words, both sides have symptoms, but yet they're different symptoms, you have brown sequard all day long, okay? The other ones follow one of those two rules, okay? So they're not really testable like brown sequard is, okay? Um, be sure to look on YouTube for my other videos. Uh, brown sequard is discussed under the neurology topic. You can look at that video, scroll through it. It's more towards the end, or if you're in one of the classes, we talk about it a bit more. But brown sequard breaks both rules of spinal cord injuries, both, part, both sides of the body affected, different symptoms. And you'll answer that question and get it right every time. Hope this helps. Good luck to you guys. I'll see you guys later. I got a class to go to. Peace out.